Hello Star Wars fans and collectors, it's me Jenna Master 98 back again with another Star Wars review. In today's Star Wars review we're going to take a look now at some more brand new products from Solo A Star Wars Story and in today's review we're going to be taking a look at an iconic Star Wars character in the Star Wars universe and especially with the likes of the original trilogy and episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. But this character we love him dearly, he's one of the best Wookiees in the galaxy and it's this guy. It is Chewbacca from Solo, A Star Wars Story. Now, you're probably thinking, why have I picked up another Chewie? You can't get enough of Chewbacca on this channel, and let alone in my collection. really enjoy Chewbacca as a character, and you've got to get Chewbacca alongside Han Solo. So when Han Solo is released in the UK, I will be getting him as usual, like with all the other figures. But this is a really nice Chewbacca from Solo, a Star Wars story. So that's Chewbacca. We're going to take a look at him in a couple of minutes. But first, we are going to take a look at the brand new packaging that comes with the Solo Star Wars story products. As you see, this is the packaging for Chewbacca. You've got the Star Wars logo at the top in a nice yellow. Really nice packaging at the side, followed by artwork and a name. Disney Hasbro logo, plastic bubble that protects the figures, the legal stuff at the bottom, legal stuff at the back, at the back sorry, and the app that they are promoting. And also the Star Wars logo there as well. So it's a really nice card design, really nice colours, and a really nice picture of Chewie. So that's the packaging. Let's crack onto the figure. We're going to start off with the old articulation. Chewbacca he does come with a swivel left arm, a swivel right arm, a swivel right leg and a swivel left leg. You can move the head a bit, and his gun's just falling out. You can move the head a bit, but that is restricted due to fur. Like what's just been dropped. He does come with a weapon, but it's very it's a very different version of the bowcaster, his iconic weapon in the Star Wars universe. It kind of looks like a blaster rifle before we got the bowcaster or changed it up a bit, but Maybe this is an old weapon from Chewie's closet, a new weapon that we haven't seen in the Star Wars universe, but it's a decent weapon. But the only weakness I have with Chewbacca figures is Hasbro can't really seem to sculpt the gun into the hand grip. Like the way Chewie was holding that gun before it went out, he's literally got like a little attachment and I've literally placed it in his hand and it stays like that. I don't know what it is, but they can't seem to sculpt... Um, they can't seem to sculpt good weapons for Wookiees really well, which is kind of annoying for a collector, let alone a fan. But I'm going to try and place it in his hand again. If not, I'll uh, just have to pose him without it. But yeah, the weapon looks really cool. Nice to see that. He's got a different satchel. When I say different satchel, a different sculpt. Looks like he's got like more, it's either grenade launchers or like shotgun shells or shells for his gun on his chest around his little satchel similar to his friend Han Solo, Indiana Jones <laughs> so I've captured Chewbacca's likeness really well sculpted fur is decent, not the greatest colours but Chewie seems happy as ever like I said, he's sculpted like the shotgun shells or shells, whatever they are on his chest the fur seems to be alright it's got a really nice feel to it, really nice like stand to the figure because he is a tall character like Captain Phasma and Darth Vader and Anakin Skywalker, like all them tall characters. But I'm looking forward to seeing Chewie in Solo, how he meets up with Solo, what happens uh, when he meets Lando for the first time and obviously all the crew, Kira, Beckett, uh, L3 and all the rest of the Solo gang that's going to be appearing in the film. And, yeah, that's the one thing I'm really looking forward to in Solo, how Han and Chewie met up. Obviously, we know that Han Solo was a pilot in the Imperial Navy, and he met Chewie one time. I think I don't know if I can't remember. I think an Imperial officer was interrogating him or being nasty to him. Han Solo fought him off or something happened, and Chewie owed him a life debt, and they became friends there ever since. So it's a nice duo. And, obviously, it was cut short. When I say cut short cut several years later in The Force Awakens when 
Han Solo's son, Kylo Ren, killed him, and Chewie was annoyed. But yeah, looking forward to seeing Chewie again on the big screen. Love this brilliant Wookiee, and a brilliant character in the original trilogy, Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, and the whole Star Wars galaxy in general. So yep, that's Chewie. Nothing more to say, apart from this rifle keeps falling out of his hand. Hasbro, do better. That's the only weakness I have about that figure, but apart from that, hope you've enjoyed this Chewbacca review from Solo Star Wars Story. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, follow all my social media platforms, and there's plenty more to come on the channel. So we're only a week away from Solo A Star Wars Story. Looking forward to the release, and hopefully after that, many more products on the channel. So thanks very much for watching. Have a nice day, and may the force be with you.